Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good out there today. Bear with me while I get this set up on the tripod here. Hey Michelle. <laughs> it is very hot up here in my she cave. Whew. The beauties of a wood stove on a snowy winter day. It is beautiful out here in northern Idaho. And I thought today I would take some time and jump back on Monday's conversation. Um, I had talked about options for phones. When we were out and it, living in the canvas wall tent, our options for phone were very limited. Our cell phones did not work out here. And we had a bag phone that bounced off repeaters on a mountainside. And hey, Mandy. Good to have you. And um, so the, the phone was bouncing off the repeaters on the mountainside, and that tower was shared with loggers. Uh, the industry out here is logging, and um, for emergency purposes, because of the loggers using that tower, we only had 15 minutes of time. And as soon as we would get to the point of a good conversation, it would start beeping and we would lose our call. Not to mention, we were the poster children for the Verizon um, commercials. I actually had to park my truck between two trees. I had to stand on the running board and I had to have my hand up in the air so that I could actually get a good signal. And I kid you not, it was really ridiculous, but it worked. It was really painful when I was doing web design work because I'd have to call um, some of my tech support people and it was really painful because I'd finally get them understanding what was going on and then I would lose my connection. So that was what we started out with. But I had mentioned on Monday, it was kind of scattered. I think the heat was getting the best of me. But um, we have varying options out here right now. All of our options are voice over internet. And um, it depends on the day. It depends on the sun shining. It depends on a lot of variables. But we can get something to work. We have a magic jack hooked up that allows our phone to ring so we know somebody's trying to get a hold of us but we can't pick it up because if we pick it up it's really scattered and staticky so we let everything go to voicemail which people just don't understand and then we either return the call on uh, Skype or Google Hangouts and Google Hangouts is a great resource um, many people don't realize that it's a free resource and you can get a free phone number through uh, Google Voice so you go to google.com slash voice, you can get a free phone number that is associated with your email, and then you can use it with Google Hangouts, and you can also use it with the Google Voice app for the smartphones. So that is our resource. Skype works, but it's pretty scattered and sketchy, so Google Hangouts tends to be our best resource, and we find that um, our iPhone and our iPad seem to pull a stronger sig signal than our laptop does. So I just wanted to touch on that and share those resources with you. There's also some other apps that work really good. We struggle with our cell phones not working. I use my cell phone for my business and have for like 15 years. So I need to know when people are trying to call me. So what I do is I have my phone um, forwarded to my Google Voice account. And then when somebody calls, it actually transcribes the message into an email. So I know people are trying to get a hold of me. And then I can use Google Voice to text message people. And there's an app called Text Me that works on the iPhone that allows me to text message pictures if I wanted to. You know, that kind of has been limited because um, Google Voice, you cannot, I cannot send a, a text with a photo, but someone can send me a text with a photo. And I, but I can't view it unless I'm in my email. So it's a little tricky and it sounds very technologically complicated and it can be, but I'm resourceful and that's what I found. So I wanted to share that with you. Now, I also want to talk to you today about how solar works because so many people do not understand, honestly, how solar works. They think that once the sun has stopped shining, I don't have power, but that's not the case. And it works pretty much the same with uh, wind um, as well as hydropower, um, as well in, in addition to solar. So I'm going to spin this around and just show you a little diagram here and try to explain to you the differences between and how solar works and, and alternative energy works. So bear with me here. Okay. Sorry about that. You're seeing the wall of my office. Okay. I'm going to pull this back a little bit here. Now this 
diagram is care of backwoodssolar.com. It is part of their uh, product catalog. You can find it on page five. And um, they are an awesome company to work with. I've mentioned them before. But their catalog is extremely um, informative, and they have this great diagram. So since I've been giving them shout-outs anyway, I figured I'd use their diagram to show you. But right here is the arrays, which means these are my solar panels that are outside that the sun is shining on right here. All right, and then they come into my home, are wired into my home, and come into what is called a charge controller. The charge controller controls how much power comes into my batteries. These batteries can be overcharged, so without the charge controller, it would be, you know, uh, really devastating to my batteries. So this charge controller knows when there's too much power coming in, and it actually diverts the power back. So on a really sunny day, when my batteries are already full, the power starts just being basically lost. It's being uh, removed from my system because there's no more space for it. So that is why we do everything we do on a sunny day, because... The sun is, is shining all day long, and all that power would be lost. So instead of it you know, just being returned and not going into my batteries, we utilize it. So my husband can actually run his generator. He can run his power tools. I could be vacuuming. I could be doing wash, and we will have plenty of power. We bring in a lot of power on a sunny day. And then when the sun goes down... Um, we no, we no longer have the sun coming in, the power's not coming in, but the batteries are full. Now, from here, the batteries power the home, and um, they actually go into an inverter, which is right here, okay, and this actually um, inverts the power from DC to AC. Now, you can utilize DC power, so before it would be inverted, you could actually utilize that DC power because there are things that are um, utilizing DC, such as different pumps and varying different things um, and uh, appliances. Now, we don't have anything running DC right now, so our power comes from the batteries into this inverter, so it converts the power from DC to AC, which is what you are running in your home, and then it goes into my breaker box. So at this point, my home is powered the same way that, um, Mandy, I'll answer that question in just a second. Great question. Um, once, once it's in this, um, in my breaker box, that is wired the same as your home. Everything is the same. My house is wired exactly the way yours is. It's just that the power comes in and goes into this breaker box from the sun where yours is coming in from the grid. Now, Mandy asked how many batteries um, do we need to charge our, uh, to power our home. We started out with eight, and now we have 16. Um, we have a 48 volt system, which is really a large system. We, we purchased a larger system. I'm gonna spin this around. Spins um, business and his power tools because we wanted to be certain without question that we were able to power everything that we needed. So honestly, in some cases, it's overkill. Uh, we have a lot more power than necessary. Um, but so a 24 volt system would suffice. And um, the reason we have the 16 batteries is because we wanted to be able to store more power and in the long run, have more power on the gray days. Um, oftentimes, when we have gray days, multiple gray days, so say we have three gray days in a row, um, our batteries are run down and we need to turn on our generator. And at that point, the generator is charging the batteries and, and providing us with power. So that happens periodically um, in the spring. And in the fall months, summertime, very rarely, unless we had a really, really gray period, but it's really unlikely. We usually have a lot of sun, thankfully, here in Idaho. But um, we do have very long gray, rainy periods in the fall and spring, which make it a little tricky. We do make every effort we can not to have to run the generator because that's another expense for fuel. The, we have a gas generator, and that is, you know, so we'd have to uh, fill that with gas to keep things going and keep that stocked. We try to keep gas back here. In the event that we get snowed in and are unable to get out for whatever reason, that we have extra fuel here. 
but that is how solar works and it is an awesome awesome resource and like I said hydro and um, wind work the same way instead of having the solar panels you'd have your unit for the hydro or for the wind that would come into your home the same way going through your charge controller into the batteries into the inverter and then into your breaker box so and then you can also supplement and stay on the grid but um, reduce your uh, reliance on the grid by adding additional um, alternative energy to your home even where you are now so you know and something to keep in mind I was interviewing two people on my mountain woman radio show recently and they pointed something out you don't need to have a lot of land in order to begin an off-grid lifestyle or homesteading honestly we have five acres and and it's sufficient you know it just depends what where where you're at right now what your finances are at you know you need to learn to kind of exist um, with with what you're able and and make it a good thing um, we have a saying here it is what it is you know uh, life can be crazy and um, you just need to learn to roll with it we have had a lot of struggles ups and downs and odd things happening while we've been here but you know it's something that we trust God and um, you know go to him for direction and and just roll with it because it's no different us living here off grid is no different than you living in an apartment somewhere you know stuff happens tires go flat um, storms come in things happen things break you know it's just life and so our our motto is it is what it is and this too shall pass and you just roll with it you learn to just roll with your circumstances roll with what you have at the time and be thankful for them I listened to Melissa K Norris this morning we have a lot of um, she and I are a lot alike and uh, she was talking about gratitude and you know it plays a big role in everything we do whether we're homesteading off-grid living or whether we are working an office job um, Mandy says she'll be starting a homestead on the quarter acre in the suburbs. Awesome. Good for you. I'm excited and you have to keep me posted. Do you have a website, uh, Mandy? And if so, what is it, please? But gratitude plays a huge role. If you are thankful and grateful for what you have and where you are, it will change your life as far as keeping that mindset. The more positive you are in any situation, the better off life will be. If you're negative, it's just gonna it, your life will be negative. So the more the more positive you are, the more dreams you embrace, the more fear you let go, the further forward you're gonna go. And recently, I did a podcast called um, "Stepping Out in Faith" because I had a really big situation where I had to do that. I encourage you to check that out. You can find that at TreyerWilderness.com. And you can click on Mountain Woman Radio, and that has all my archives. And you can also find me on iTunes, real simply at treyerwilderness.com slash iTunes. But um, I truly believe that when we step out of our comfort zone and remove fear from our lives and just do it, we end up in the place where God wants us to be. And life is, it's, it's heading us in the direction of where we need to be and, and where we need to grow from. So, you know, if you have fears of embracing an off-grid lifestyle or fears of embracing homesteading or anything self-sufficient, the best advice I can give you is just to embrace it and take one step at a time. I am going to return on Friday and continue talking to you about off-grid living. Does anybody have any further questions today about how solar and alternative energy works? And if not, and if you think of something later, you can email me anytime at survive at treyerwilderness.com. And again, I'll be on on Friday around 1 p.m. I do my best to keep it at that time, but things are always happening, so bear with me there. But every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, roughly around 1 p.m., I will be broadcasting live here. You can find the replays on uh, Catch Me, I'm sorry, Catch.me slash Treyer Wilderness with one S. And you can also find them on our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash Treyer Wilderness. I'm really going to start taking advantage of these videos to share with you all the things that have been in my head that I've been dying to write about and just don't have the time because I want you to know the things that happened to us that weren't successful so that I can share things so that you won't have to go through the same headaches. I want to share all the things we've been doing. There's so much that I have just not had the time to share. So there's so many aspects to our homestead and so many aspects to self-reliance and, and uh, 
preparedness and we really enjoy embracing that Mandy says I'll be starting a blog soon but for now I'm on Instagram at Hanson underscore homestead awesome I will check you out and I look forward to your following your adventure because it is an adventure it's an awesome awesome time like I said on Monday I would go back to living in that tent with dirt under my shoes in a heartbeat it was just the simplest living and it was just it was oh it was an it was nurturing my soul and my heart it was just awesome so anyway you folks have a great great day I will be back on Friday to share more with you thank you for joining me spread the word and look forward to seeing you then you guys take care God bless <laughs>